This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. I'd like to now show you how to tighten up your file sharing security. And I have a good example here on my own Mac. So I'm going to go into System Preferences. We're going to go into Sharing. And we see that file sharing has been enabled on my Macintosh. So I'm going to highlight that. And we see that there is a list of shared folders. If you click on those, you will see each individual user or group that is allowed to access that shared folder. Note that it also warns me that Windows sharing is on. So first of all, let's go into Options. And we see that we can disable types of sharing. So right now, Apple File Protocol, AFP, is turned off. Let's go ahead and turn that on because I like AFP as a stronger form of file sharing. I stay away from sharing files and folders with FTP unless it's a one-off type of situation. In other words, I turn it on, we transfer the files, I turn it off. So leaving FTP on is really bad and it tells you exactly why here because FTP usernames and passwords are just not encrypted. And we have Windows file sharing here when you enable a SMB account, then the password for that account is stored in a less secure manner. So it is best, if you can, to turn that off and just not use it. Also, I'm going to disable it for this user, Hugh. Now, I need to enter his password to disable that. And the reason why is it's gone out to his shadow hash where his password is stored and actually removed that password out of that shadow hash when I did that. That's the most secure option that we have is to not only turn it off, but also disable the user from using it. So we've tightened up our services. Now let's look at what we're sharing. By default, if a normal user connects to my Mac, they will see all these public folders available. And maybe we don't want that. And down here, Pennywise has a FileVault encrypted home folder. And really, you can't give access to this because it's not there unless Penny is logged in. So let's just delete that one. And then maybe we only want to have the Hugh Morris's public folder. So I'm going to delete out my local admin and Penny's admin public folder. Now we've tightened that up quite a bit. Let's add a new folder and I'm going to create it at the top level of my hard drive. We're going to have a new folder. Let's call it my project folder. And in sharing, I'm going to click Add. I'm going to go to the top level of the hard drive, choose Project, and say Add. Now the users are local admin. Administrators can read and write. Let's change that to administrators read and write. Local admin can read and write. So that's almost the permissions that I want. What I really need is a group of people that are allowed to read and write in this folder. So I'm going to go ahead and click Show All, and then go back to Accounts. I'm going to need to authenticate. And I'm going to create a new account, a group account. Just call it my Projects Group. And in that, I'm going to allow Hugh and Penny, and of course myself, the local admin. Going back to sharing, we can now set that group to be the My Projects group. We can leave the administrators group in there if we want to, but it's easier if we manage it with the My Projects group as read and write. Okay, so now we have our sharing set up. We can take a quick look at what it looks like when we connect to our service from another system. To do that, I'm going to screen share to Macintosh 4. I'm going to say go, connect to server, and I happen to know that it's AFP is the protocol. It's on Macintosh 2. I'm now going to connect as Hugh. Hugh sees Hugh's home folder, Hugh's public folder, and the project folder we created just for sharing. Okay, let's disconnect that. What would it look like if I connected as the local administrator? Again, I'll use connect to server. This time I brought it up with the command K key. I'll just leave the server address in there, click connect, and log in as the local admin. The local admin sees Hugh Morris's public folder, 
the home folder for the local admin, and the project that we created for sharing. Okay, so that's the way that you can tighten up the security for your sharing. Of course, the ultimate way of tightening up your security would be to go into the Sharing Preferences pane and simply turn off file sharing when it's not actively in use.